Hey everyone, it's Liz here with Emma. So today we're gonna be sharing with you five hairstyles for the summertime for your toddler girl. Also, you can do this on yourself too because they're really cute hairstyles. I actually do on myself sometimes. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Also, shout out to you dads for commenting on my last hairstyles for baby girl because I got so many comments from dads and it just made me so happy that like you guys kind of learned something from me. So if you guys mastered those hairstyles, try these ones out and let me know in the comments down below. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Give it a thumbs up if you do and let's just go ahead and get into this video. So I forgot to mention something, this video was filmed like throughout the day, like three hair cells here, two hair cells there type of thing. So she wasn't just sitting here the whole time doing hair cells, you know, over and over. So yeah, I just want to quickly mention that. Let's just go ahead and get into this video. Alright, so I'm just starting off by wetting the top section of her hair and parting it to her favorite side, which is my favorite side because <laughs> she doesn't have one yet. So I'm just going to be twisting the hair that's closest to her face and gradually adding hair as I go until I reach the back of her head. And then I just grabbed a sturdy bow and secured it. And you could leave it like this, but I thought I'd take it a step further and do the exact same thing on the other side so that way it looks like a little crown. You like your hair? <laughs> so I decided at the end it would look so cute if I pulled the ponytail through so that way it adds a little extra cuteness and then I just secured it with a bow at the end and that's it. Alright, so next up is a top knot bun. I've been seeing this so much around lately and it's really easy to do. So all you're going to want to do is take the crown section of the hair and make a bun. I chose to tease it just a tiny little bit, but honestly you can just skip this step and it will look the exact same. So the trick with this one is you're going to want to pull it until the bun looks as desired. After that you can just add a bow to finish it off. Okay, so I started by taking all the hair on top and tying it up for now. You're making a tie for you, okay? Wow! So yummy. And then grabbing the rest well of the hair and putting it in a ponytail as well. So then I started by taking a little section of hair and making a braid. And then I started grabbing hair from each side and making a French braid until I hit the back of her head. So then I just tied it off and that was it. Okay, so this one's probably my favorite out of them all. It's so pretty, so simple, and so easy for me to do it because I've been doing this so many times. So I'm basically making a curved French braid so it sits alongside her head. Once the braid reaches the back of her head, I stopped and made a little bun, and that is it. It's so stinking cute and perfect for those hot days. So again, I'm sectioning off her hair and putting the rest in the back so that way it's out of the way for now. And now I'm going to be using my rat tail comb to section off a little side and then I start twisting it. And when I reach to the back of her head, I use an elastic to tie it off. And 
and then I'm just going to be repeating this step so that way we have three twisted sections. And this hairstyle is perfect for when you need to get the bangs out of the face because Emma's bangs are always in her face and this hairstyle comes in handy when I just don't want to see them in her face at all. And that is it. This hairstyle is giving me major 90s vibes right now. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys yeah. enjoyed it and we'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye. Yay! You're getting so good. Say thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Subscribe. 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 <laughs>